Hi guys, I'm Ken, boring fisherman, doing boring fishing things. I'm not fishing, how boring. Uh, like I said before, you know, I, I do motorcycles. This is my Honda. Uh, it's a 2002 BTX 1800. I uh, did the bagger conversion on it. Oh yeah, my sticker. I finally put one of my stickers on something I own. A bunch of other people have my stickers on stuff, but that's like the first one of my stickers I stuck on anything. Uh, I also did a couple horsepower stickers on the other side for my Barnett clutch, because I did a Barnett clutch on this. Uh, it's got Vance and Hines Big Shots exhaust, a K&N filter, Power Commander, a few other things, Memphis Shades windshield, uh, Cobra crash bars and floorboards. Anyhow, this is my bike. I just washed it today. I've ridden it in the rain a few times. And uh, it was dirty. It had a whole lot of dust on it from sitting in the barn here. We haven't had good weather in, uh, I don't know, ever here on the coast. And it's rain as far as I can see in the forecast. And I'm not fishing and my boat's broke. And uh, I decided just to take a little bit of me time today after work. I had a break in the weather. I got this thing out and got it washed. And uh, holding an applicator with some wax on it. I'm using some antique black magic. Same bottle of wax that I had since I was in high school. Uh, and I'm just kind of waxing this thing up. Board. Uh, if you don't know how to apply wax to something, you'll put some on your applicator. And follow the instructions. The instructions on this black magic, there's a scratch there, uh, says to apply it in circular motions. I like to get some on the panel like that first so that I'm not working it all just off of the applicator. So, I'm going to kind of work it in circles, get it up tight to my bib here. Uh, that's uh, the Iron Horse. Made this tank bib. Anyway, you just kind of work it in little circles with the applicator here. All the way up to the bib. I'm using a really cheap microfiber applicator. Uh, this wax is old enough that I think it was my bottle of wax before microfiber became a real thing. And it says to use cotton, but I'm not using cotton today. Microfiber rags might be made of cotton. I don't know. So this chrome tank, tank emblem here, I'm just going to kind of smear some wax on it and let it do its thing in there. Gotta keep working her in circles. I already did the uphill side, so now I'm doing the difficult downhill side. Work that in there, make sure I didn't miss any spots. I know this gas tank probably looks big, but it really isn't. It only holds three gallons or so, three and a half gallons. All right, so this half of my tank has the wax on it, and that wax is gonna dry up and get kind of hazy. I'm not going again. Going? Sorry about that. My wonderful wife, Hester, jumped the gun, so there's gonna be a little clip of... Huh? <laughs> anyway. It's been about 10 minutes, long enough to share a cigarette, and I let this wax dry up. Kind of got this nice hazy, hazy dryness to it now. Now I'm going to take another microfiber, and again in little circular motions with a little bit of pressure. Look at the difference there. Get in here close to that camera. Look at that. 
I really hope the camera's picking that up and making it look good. I sit awake at night thinking about doing this. And between not being able to ride because of the weather, uh, I'm not always a fair weather rider, but I don't like uh, getting sick and wet. So between not riding because of the weather and the water being screwed up, hey, what happened to that scratch? It went away. It went away because of the wax. So between that and not fishing, I've been a pretty boring guy lately. I have gone fishing. We went fishing for Hester's birthday. I didn't catch anything. I took some video, but didn't do anything with it. I'm a lazy guy like that. You know, boring, boring fisherman. And the more you work that, this little microfiber, the more it just, uh, the more it shines up here. Down here on this seam. I think the camera's probably making this look more pink than it is. Mm, not really. A really nice deep, deep red. I used to know the name of this color, but I don't remember it right now. Ooh. A canyon red or mountain red or... Anyway, when it's out in the sun, all this metal flake in here that just looks silver, in the lighting in here, all this metal flake is a bright copper color in the sun. It's just beautiful. Factory paint from Honda. 20 year old paint, 20 year old motorcycle. Get this rag pushed in here and get this uh, chrome plated plastic tank badge cleaned up. This is the VTX 1800. No, it is not an Indian. It's a Honda. A 20-year-old Honda that looks this good. My next bike will be another Honda. I'm tired of playing with Harleys. There ain't many ridden in the rain Harleys that look that good. I'm sure there are, but I've never had one. It looked that good. Anyway, I feel a little better now. I get to see some shiny stuff on my bike again. I'm sure that over the course of the next couple weeks, I'll probably break out my white diamond to metal polish. And I'll get all the chrome and aluminum polish back up again. This bike is absolutely beautiful when I have it all cleaned up and detailed. Anyway, we'll see you next time.